Hi, Dr. Romano. I've been going over all your roadmaps on the, in the Destroyer book, and I was wondering if there were any more that you could show for me. I could show you an infinite number. Why don't I come over here and make you one? Let's take a look. Okay, think of this as a piece of artwork, and what I'm gonna do is paint you a picture. So what we first do is why don't we take a molecule, oh, I don't know, ethyl benzene. So ethyl benzene will be our starting molecule. That's my starting point. Now, what I can do is I can treat this with bromine and light, or I can use NBS with peroxide and heat. Both of these reactions will be free radical reactions. And the bottom line is they will put a bromine on the benzylic carbon. So we're going to replace the hydrogen, one off the benzene ring, and put a bromine on. In my next step, I'm going to treat it with a base. Oh, I don't know. Let's use sodium ethoxide and ethanol. That's as good as any. But I'm going to put heat under it, underneath it. Now, when I put heat underneath, that's going to give me the E2 product. If I didn't use heat, we might get a little bit of competition between the E2 and the SN2. But putting heat always finishes the job off. Now, what I'm then going to do is why don't we treat it with HBr and peroxide? Sure, bad question for the dat. What that's going to do, it's going to add on a bromine into the position what we call anti-Makovnikov. The carbon with the most H's gets the halogen. So that's an anti makovnikov addition. It's also a nice radical mechanism. What I could do here is I could treat this with the dimeric B2H6. Sometimes you might see somebody write the monomer, which is BH3, and then peroxide base. This is hydroboration. And in the hydroboration reaction, we add an OH anti makovnikov So we have two very important anti makovnikov additions, and the only anti makovnikov additions you'll need for the DAT. Adding HBr, but you got to use peroxide. It only works with HBr, not with HCl or HF or HI, only HBr. Because with HBr, the thermodynamics dictate that it's going to be an exothermic reaction, and it'll move forward. The other one won't work. Now... What we're going to do is let's go up again. Why don't we try bromine and light again? And we'll put on the bromine. And this time we'll do the same thing. Let's use a different base now. I'm going to use a very big bulky base. We can use sodium T-butoxide. There's the solvent. Heat it. And once again, we would get this. And then to here, why don't we do an ozonolysis? Ozone, and then we'll use zinc and acid. What ozone's going to do, normally ozone won't touch the benzene ring. So if it doesn't touch the benzene ring, we'll just do an oxidative cleavage, and we'll get one mole of benzaldehyde, and then a formaldehyde as my two products. That wasn't so bad. Next, what I can do is I can oxidize this with potassium dichromate in acid, or I could have used KMnO4, and that's going to oxidize the entire side chain off, and that would give me a benzoic acid. Now that I got benzoic acid, what I can do is add, say, chlorine and FeCl3, which is a Lewis acid catalyst. And what that'll do is the COOH group does the directing. And it'll add the chlorine to the meta position. And that would be the 3 chloro benzoic acid. Once we are here, what I could do is I could reduce this down with a reducing agent such as lithium aluminum hydride, we put in an ether, add some water, and that would give me the reduced benzyl alcohol. So I've done a reduction here, 
I've done an oxidation here. If we took this compound, going back now, and I added PCC, or I did a reaction called Swern, or what we call the Desmartin reaction. Those three simply will take the primary alcohol into the aldehyde. Absolute must have for the DAT exam. That'll about wrap it up for a little baby roadmap. I've got a lot of these roadmaps in the destroyer, but this gives you a little bit of an idea of what to do on some roadmaps. So every one of these are fair game questions um, from O's analysis to using peroxide and HPR or B2H6. Make sure you understand your directors. Make sure you understand how to do an oxidation. Um, with something like this, we have PCC swarm, swarm or the desmartin, and that'll stop it at the aldehyde stage. Since you don't have any water, the further oxidation would be prevented. All right, I hope that wraps it up um, on a nice roadmap. Thank okay. you, Dr. Romano. That's a great roadmap. Good day to you.